，现在通过苹果 iPad 上的啊、uh, Apps 学习中文。Coming up, learning Chinese on your iPad. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin, and I'm Qi Zhen, and this is Tech Edge. And today we're going to talk about learning Chinese. So, if you've ever wanted to learn Chinese or you want to teach your students Chinese, we've really looked at some apps that help you do that. So, let's start with the apps. Okay. So, let's first start with the right Chinese. Okay. So, for this app, it will teach you how to write every、uh, stroke. For each character in Chinese,、um, and we started with a very simple character that、yes. even I can make. So it made it on the left, and now I can take my finger and make it on the right. And then I did it in four strokes. But then I can take the sketch off and see how well I've done this, and not so well, but close.、Um, and the thing I like about this one is it reads you the the sound. Yes,、um, you can practice practice this over and over. Yes, practice, listen, try to make that sound, and then there's attached to it the meaning of the character, so you can learn that as well.、Mm. What else is in this app? Actually, when you click into the phrase, it will show you how this character uh, can be uh, used used in all of the phrases. So here, for example, this phrase is "excuse." 记、mm、号 -hmm. ，excuse. Right. 记号，记号 ，right. 呃，借口。Apparently, I have not been doing my Chinese homework.、Uh -huh. But、uh, one of the things that I like is it's organized by lessons and books. So these are the simple characters, right?、Yeah. Where you start, and it's a small number of strokes. But as you move through. You can go to different books. This app has something else.、Uh, the pinging system. Let's start. Oh, this is a game. So you.、Uh, I have to go to the character. Yeah, you have to catch the、uh, character that has corresponding ping here. <laughs> I do not know Chinese. Okay,、apparently. for this one, in、uh, Hebrew, I'm pretty good. So I've been told. Okay. This is one. Yes.、E. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is just a practice game,、mm -hmm. and I see that there's character puzzles. So there are lots of options to practice. Right. But really, this is the part I like the best: is the ability to practice the character, listen to what they mean, and the phrases they show up with、mm -hmm. is really, really interesting. And you can see that it quickly becomes a lot more complicated. So this is a five-stroke character; it's a little bit harder. And if you go further, you can、right. get this one, which is a sixteen-stroke character. Uh huh. Yeah. And that is a complicated one. And what you see here, and this is something I learned,、mm -hmm. is that when you learn to write Chinese characters, you use this page that's divided into eight quadrants、yes. to help you draw、yes. and have all of those strokes. I'm still at the beginning lesson, though. Okay, so this is called、uh, write Chinese. Yes. Okay, let's try the next one. Next one, tap and see. All right, tap and say. And the thing about this one is it has many languages,、mm -hmm. but let's go to the、um, Chinese. Chinese. So what 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 do we have here? So there are lots of、uh, short phrases, great things, and when you tap the English version, it will show you the Chinese,、uh, and, and so you can practice this. Ni hao ma. This is a great app because it's a whole phrase. It's not really trying to teach the strokes, although it is written in in Chinese up there and transliterated as well. Right. So、there、you can follow. Right. There is English and there is the character, and this is how you see it, how、yeah. you pronounce it. And、uh, so you have greetings. You have some essential phrases: yes, no, thank you,、mm -hmm. and then numbers and colors. This app is called Tap and Say. 
and it has multiple languages, including Chinese, so that's fantastic. Okay. So the next app is Chinese 101. This is conversational. It looks like conversational Chinese. Yes. Uh, it's very useful if you're going to China for okay. a short period of time. Uh, so, for example, you know, you can use this to take the taxi. Okay, so let's see the first one, take the taxi. Okay. Uh, and... So it's a whole dialogue. Right. It's a really complete dialogue that you can refer to um, when you are, if you are in China. Yes, and you can practice before. And one of the things I like about this is you can actually record your own voice doing the same dialogue. So if you press here, so you listen to it and then you can record it. Mm-hmm. And right. I think every Chinese will understand you. <laughs> I'm halfway there already. Um, so there are multiple lessons like that. Mm -hmm. And this is a classic way to learn languages, do using the phrases that you would find actually usable in, in a certain country. So there's lots of useful things that you can do before you travel or just when you're working with kids in the classroom and you want them to get some words in Chinese and have some fun with it. That's uh, definitely there. And let's there are actually some tips here um, yeah. about what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Oh, so there's actually tips for travelers. Uh -huh. So there's a little bit of culture. Yes. Let's see this. Eating in China. Oh, wow, that's a lot of text. Okay, so here is some advice. And uh, I like the first one. There's a rich variety of dialects in China. I think that we sometimes think about Chinese as very monolithic, but it actually isn't. Yeah. So it's a good advice in general. But that's true, I think, of almost any language. Okay, so the last one that we're going to talk about is Chinese reading. So we had Chinese write, write Chinese, and this is Chinese reading. And so what is this? It's actually the Chinese uh, textbook that's mm -hmm. used in school uh, from grade one. Let's see here, grade one. Uh, first semester, grade one. So you get a sense of what first graders in China start with. Uh -huh. You as a get a sense of the grade level um, mm -hmm. of their reading. Okay, so we looked at four apps to learn Chinese, and this is a, very exciting because the access to learn languages is really coming closer as the world is getting smaller. And this is only uh, the start of learning Chinese. Um, so uh, hopefully we will, have, we will come up with some new apps that might give more information about mm -hmm. this, um, let's say, Chinese reading and Chinese learning. And we'll see you next time on TechEdge. See you soon.